the Saturday wrap, the Saturday wrap for a new month, the Saturday wrap for the 1st of July 2023, yeah, the seventh month. Um, I'm going to try and avoid saying I don't know where this year has gone and already the nights are drawing in and the mornings are drawing in um, and it'll soon be Christmas and we'll be starting over again. But yeah, maybe, absolutely maybe. Anyway, um, uh, if you haven't seen this before, me looking back on the week that was, TW3, and uh, mainly moaning on about things, quite a lot to be perfectly honest. Uh, but then that's me. So, the word or phrase of the week. Uh, rain and shorts. So, um, I was back to work this week. Uh, as some non-public face in, I wore BDU shorts. Because it started off really warm. And then we had a number of days, including today, where it hammered down with rain. Um, when you wear a smock and shorts and you go to the pub, scratch his chin. Yeah, you look odd. Anyway, I don't really mind because the rain, um, potatoes, lawn, um, tomatoes maybe? Uh, oh, and lots of weeds as well. They really uh, go ahead. But that was me wandering around in the rain with shorts on, um, being quite happy. Mind you, the actual weather looks like February. It's far too hot, obviously, for February, but it has looked like February. <sighs> February, my least favourite month. Apart from January as well, but there you go. What can you do? Anyway, um, this is for a guy who likes to go to a brewery for the odd pint or two. Definitely an app of the week. And this is for Windows and Mac. And it's freeware. Another scratch, this time the back of the neck, from a com company called MacPaw from Ukraine. And it's Encrypto. If you need to encrypt anything and embed in it a hint for the password to unencrypt it, and you need to go from Mac to Mac, or Mac to Windows, or Windows to Windows, or back again, and crypto. This works. It's really simple. I like it. 256-bit um, encryption. Symmetrical. It's good enough. Really is good enough. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. One of those Medium posts I spotted that on. I'd like to spring for Medium, but it's another one of those... Yeah, another subscription, and I'm not going to do it. So there you go. The thing of the week. The thing of the week, I like a cup of coffee at home and in work. Um, and I don't want to buy milk, so I use coffee whitener, or generically, non-dairy creamer. And probably about 18 months, slightly longer ago, you stop being able to get Tesco's non-dairy creamer either full fat or diet because it was considerably cheaper than the market leader which is nestle and it hasn't come back and i don't know why and i should tweet at tesco or whatever but the last couple of weeks i haven't even seen nestle and i've been running out tuesday i went to tesco's and they had some nestle there and it was full fat and it was three quid fifty for a tub and the tub looked wider but um not as tall and the lady at the till said "Ooh, ooh, they made that small oh the price is the same that's terrible and i thought i'd check when i got home uh, the last one i bought which was tall 450 grams this one 325 grams and it's the same price is it a world shortage of non-dairy creamer? Is it a world shortage of the ingredients for non-dairy creamer? I don't know, but that's inflation, that's shrinkflation, and where are the own brands? Oh, I've also looked in Sainsbury's. They don't seem to do their own brand either. Uh, neither do Aldi's, but Aldi's I don't think ever did it. And I don't want to go on to powdered milk, to be perfectly honest. Anyway. Now that was my thing of the week. Yeah, times are hard, you know. Anyway, last Saturday, 
last Saturday I was back in Hereford, MB10. Um, it was the usual thing. Uh, stayed in the travel lodge. Um, a breakfast, a, a large, no, actually a medium cappuccino on a bacon roll. Meal deal. Uh, then into the King's Fee and um, the Hereford Beer House. And every time I go back there, I just I need to come here more often. Um, but times are being hard. Uh, I can't always go back there more often. Uh, not like I used to anyway. Um, but I do need to. Because I really enjoyed it. And there was really good beer there. And Daisy the cat arrived later on. She's lovely. Anyway, right. Okay, so good times. Hot times. Came back, got home quarter past seven on Saturday morning. My replacement anchor gun charger had been delivered the day before we stand by their products the tech support people said we will get it to you in three to seven days practically next day i got the replacement uh, anchor really good and thank you thank you a lot to be perfectly honest also sunday umbral 0.5.4 update Funny enough it didn't show from 0.5.3 you had to reboot it and then let it find it. Probably one of the bugs at 0.5.4 fixes. Maybe. Who knows? Love my little umbrella. So if I run some on my Raspberry Pi, um, decentralization, a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain on there. Oh, there you go. Also, applied for a new credit card. Foreign currency, zero fee, 0 0.25 reward on the foreign currency and uk currency and freebies from apple tv plus and apple music and apple this and apple that uh, for five months every little counts really for the foreign uh, cash back although you get the cash back in sterling to be perfect lines we get charged in sterling so there you go All right okay um monday shorts <laughs> yeah that's how exciting monday was to be perfectly honest and tuesday was on a training course the big thing for me was the little things little things matter it's not just the big things in life that you need to keep an eye on it's the little things as well and if you don't they spoil the big things i'll say it. that's all i say about it but little things matter um or is that tesco's Tesco's whizzing on dairy creamer. Um, right, um, Thursday. I don't know what happened to Wednesday, apart from the fact it rained a lot then. Um, from the garden, my Casablanca potatoes made chips from them. Had mint, which had grown in uh, tubs on the windowsill. And also had lemon basil. So potatoes for chips, mint, lemon basil. Okay, all the baked beans don't really count, but food from the garden it is really good mind you early this morning night cramps in the one leg seized up solid really really painful when it comes on you've got to move it you've got to move it and it hurts like hell to be honest and i've looked it up and no one knows what causes it and it's painful really painful ah bodies this is turning into the year of the bodies although for the last couple of years i've had them i don't think i've had one this is the first time this year but oh anyway back to tech uh reddit which is still having lots and lots of problems today is the last day of boost on android and apollo on ios oh my t-shirt from apollo uh has cleared us customs it's still in America though, so there you go. Um, I used Apollo this morning, it works. Apparently Narwhal, um, Narwhal version 2 still works and there's going to be version 3 which you'll have to subscribe to which will work under iOS. I don't know how expensive it will be. Yes, another subscription. don't really like it compared to Apollo, but oops. Um, and the app for Reddit itself, the official one, is horrible. Really, really horrible. So I might end up with that. But bye-bye, Apollo, and bye-bye, Boost. I'm going to miss you. Good things never last. Anyway, so um, plan for Saturday, 
Caffili and Brewmonster. And uh, I need to get this up now. How are we looking? Hmm, 10 minutes, getting a little bit longer. Uh, comments, and I'll see you. Bye bye.